Hi friends, uh, once again we are coming back to the uh, another uh, class presentation on micro teaching. And now let us see that the phases of uh, micro teaching. There are three phases of micro teaching. The first one is called knowledge acquisition phase. The first one is knowledge acquisition phase. Second one is a skill acquisition phase and the third one is transfer phase of micro teaching. Transfer phase of micro teaching. I'll repeat once again. The first one is knowledge acquisition phase. Second one is skill acquisition phase and the third one is transfer phase of micro teaching. And now let us see that uh, what exactly a uh, knowledge acquisition phase or what takes place in knowledge acquisition phase. That is a pre-active phase. That is a pre-active phase. In that particular phase, that means uh, the trainee will observe a demo skill a demo skill and analyze and discuss a demo. That means usually the teacher educators will give a demo. A demo how to perform a particular skill. And at that time uh, they will observe the demo and also analyze and discuss the demo. Uh, that takes place under the knowledge acquisition phase that is called the pre-active phase and when we come to the second phase that is called the skill acquisition phase skill acquisition phase that is called also called as interactive phase interactive phase under this particular phase the teacher trainee prepare micro lesson. Uh, the teacher trainee prepare micro lesson and practice skill and evaluate performance. That means uh, the teacher trainee will prepare micro lesson and practice skill and evaluate performance. And after that, uh, suppose if it is if it requires then they will go to reteach okay and third phase third phase is called as a transfer phase transfer phase transfer phase is post active phase post active phase under this particular phase they will transfer that means transfer of skill to actual teaching takes place transfer of skill to actual teaching takes place so uh, these are the things that means once again I will tell you what exactly the things number one knowledge acquisition phase that is preactive phase it includes the activities such as provide knowledge about teaching skills and observe the demonstration of teaching skill and analyze and discuss the demonstration of the teaching skill. Okay. And second one, the second phase is skill acquisition phase interactive phase interactive phase it includes the activities such as planning and preparation of micro lesson for a skill practicing the skill evaluation of the practiced skill and feedback will be given and replan, reteach, 
re-feedback till the desired level of skill is achieved. Okay. Uh, how long it goes till the desired level of skill is achieved. Okay. That is the second phase of uh, this micro teaching skill phase. And when we come to the third phase, transfer phase. This is a post active phase. Post active phase. Here, giving opportunity uh, to the teacher trainee to use the mastered skill in normal classroom teaching. Giving opportunity to use the mastered skill in normal classroom teaching. And next one is integrate the different skill practiced. That means the teacher trainee when they happen to go to the real classroom to teach they have to integrate all the skills together that means as per the requirement as per the need the teacher trainee has to make use of all the skills that means they will integrate integration of teaching skills integration of teaching skills is that means whenever they need they will make use of different skills as per the requirement okay see you in next video bye